guys, Siri here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I am sitting in the 2018 Toyota Camry Hybrid, the XLE edition. So the top of the line of the hybrid that you can get the kind of luxury interior, all of that. If you subscribe to my channel, which you should, so click that red button if you haven't yet, you would know that I already reviewed a Toyota Camry, the XSE V6. I cannot believe the difference in these two vehicles. It is insane. So just so you know, I live in Dallas and we don't know how to deal with ice or cold or anything. It is 26 degrees outside. There's ice on the road. So I'm actually not going to be driving this car around like I typically do just because I don't feel it's the safest thing while I'm filming a review and driving and then I won't be looking at you. So, you know, I would not look at the camera at all. If you want to see me driving a Toyota Camry, go ahead and click my other video. I'll have a link down below and at the end of this video so you can check it out. I'm going to kind of gloss over a lot of the Toyota Camry things that it has together, such as I'll do a quick exterior, but more of that is going to be in the other review. Also, at around like halfway through, maybe eight, nine minutes in, put the exact time up here, on my other camera review, it kind of goes through all the different models of the Toyota Camry. And at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna go through and tell you kind of about a hybrid and when it makes sense and when it really doesn't make sense to get it. So I've had this actually for two weeks. I had it all the way down. Trust me, I drove it actually from Dallas to San Antonio to see my family and from there to Austin and home and around running errands, all that stuff. So I've seriously been putting some miles on this baby which was awesome um something that i really do like about toyota's and lexus that i don't think i put in my other my lexus hybrid review was that instead of saying start for the start button it says power which is kind of neat so you turn it on and it is silent there's no sound um i'm not going to do that for you so if you want to see how that all works see car turned off so it sounds basically like this as you're going on the battery and it's pretty cool if you haven't driven a hybrid or electric or anything car it's kind of strange because you don't realize you've turned the car on until it's on and then you start to move well you know put everything in gear this camry is the luxury edition the luxury interior so i'll kind of give you a little shot on all of that okay so the interior of this car really nice we have just like the cream leather it's two-toned if you don't know I love two-tone so just I think that's black and cream very very nice with all this now, the center console is cool so here is a lot of the Toyota safety features that actually come standard and pretty much every single Toyota now some of the lower end models actually don't have it but you have the pre-collision system the parking assist blind spot monitor and rear profit rear rear cross traffic alert oh my goodness so sorry so you can see it's 26 degrees which is freezing you have the charge the eco and again the power button which is usually start everywhere else so the center console which is pretty much the same across the board you have a little charging pad if you have the iphone 10 or any samsung's or whatever that have it and we have lots of room in here we have the two USB ports, the seat heaters that don't turn off, which is great. And of course, the three different eco, normal, and sport options. These seats are really nice. You can tell it is a luxury edition just by how the seats are. All of this, all the way around. And a difference with the luxury edition, you get the wood instead of the carbon fiber in the sport as well. And then, I don't know if I've actually ever showed you how the parking assist works. So, where's my parking? There we go. So you check 360, the view right here, which is on the side. And then it turns on and basically does a 360 view of what's around your vehicle which is really cool and very nice and then you can see there's the car so it actually changes color so whatever car you're is it is going to be that color and then you can see so if you click that it just does another 360 
all the way around you so you can see really what's going on as you're parking as you're pulling in to get that full view how close you are to the curb and all of that so just a quick exterior view again i've already done this in the other video but you can see i won't get too close because it is pretty dirty from our drive just the styling on the camera looks so good and the white is actually really understated instead of a lot of other colors you can really see the different lines so you can only see like the two right there there's also two more going down the middle that we can't really see like that it's nice and just the toyota logo that's outlined in blue is really nice that's on the hybrids and just down the side it really just looks nice and sleek all the way down the side and then the back too, I love just the tail light on here. It just looks really nice and the trunk is super spacious. Just had to show you that trunk. Yes, this is the other Camry, but it's awesome. There's so much space. We had no problem getting everything down for Christmas. So Toyota actually has three different Camry hybrid models. How Toyota does it just real fast, again, I go through it more in my other video, is Basically, you get the lower end with a few options. If you want to completely option it out, you just keep going up and up and up in the different models. So that's what it is along the line. The base Toyota Camry, the L, around 23,000, and they go all the way up to about fully optioned out about 40,000. So it's a pretty big spread for the Toyota Camry. So this Camry I'm sitting in is 32,250. So that is not bad especially for a hybrid if you're looking at a hybrid definitely check this out would highly recommend this over the prius just because it honestly looks so much better it drives so much better and you're getting close to the same gas mileage it's not gonna be the best um this i got so for this driving on the highway again full highway no traffic i got 27.3 mpgs you can get about 35 around city, average, all that stuff. So again, you're gonna have the regenerative braking. So basically, every time you brake in a hybrid or electric car, it charges the battery. So the more you brake, the better gas mileage you have. So if you're gonna be sitting in traffic, especially like stop and go traffic, you basically are using no gas. Um, you're just charging the battery here and there. You use a little bit. Um, but it's really not bad so if you're going to be thinking about getting a hybrid i would not get it if you don't sit in traffic or you don't drive around town because just driving on the highway gas mileage really isn't anything exceptional but if you do drive around town a lot if you do sit in traffic hybrids are for you so and they're just a little bit better for the environment as well you save money on gas it is a little bit more expensive than a basic basic camry but again if you're going to keep this long term it will end up saving you money depend well depending how much you drive it probably will save you money if you don't drive that much it's not going to save you that much money also if you really don't drive that much i would recommend just a smaller fully electric car um, instead of a hybrid because you really are getting maybe about 60 to 100 miles per charge. So if you drive less than 60 to 100 miles a day, that's something to really think about too. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and thought about things. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you were thinking about or if you have a hybrid or are thinking about a hybrid or what your thoughts are on hybrids and electric and all that stuff. Because honestly, one day eventually it will happen that everyone has hybrids. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Click that bell icon to be alerted every time I have a new video. And hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And make sure you watch other of my videos. Um, yeah, that's my whole YouTube spiel. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.